here is another tumor. And note that is composed of large dilated spaces. Note also as well at the periphery are, is some kind of tissue, which I think if we could really recognize very quickly as being salivary gland tissue. And because most, if not all of these asini are serous rather than mucinous, this could be some accessory or remnant uh, parotid gland tissue. Notice we also have the ducts as well, but that doesn't seem to be a part or the main part or even part of all of this tumor that we're looking at. This is a very, very important differentiation. So if I was a coach, I would say, listen up. Notice that these large spaces are lined by these thin endothelial cells. So you might seem to think or want to say right away that this is some type of benign looking uh, hemangioma. Well, it, it could be because these are endothelial cells. However, what is wrong with this if these were blood vessels? Well, there's no blood inside of them. That's what's wrong. So can I perhaps convince you that although these are endothelial cells and they're large cystic spaces, you don't really see any blood in them. You could see a little uh, resting here of proteinaceous material, and then some inflammatory cells out here. And sure, I'll find your blood vessels. Here's a blood vessel, that's blood. Here's small blood vessels. But these are benign tumors of uh, lymph uh, vessels. This is a lymphangioma. And lymphangiomas, especially in the neck as a congenital lesion, are often called cystic hygromas. Don't ask me where the word hygro came from, because I think it'll just confuse the issue. What we shouldn't be confused about is all these cystic spaces have endothelial linings, but there's no blood. So instantly you should know this is a lymphangioma. Thank you very much.